John Kemp writes a good solid noir novel with film noirs and mini bars. Hi, I'm Annie and it's time to join me on an obscure book adventure and at the same time a recommendation for Filmtastic February. Filmtastic February is a reading event that I am hosting next February and this reading event is all about film and film related uh, fiction and non-fiction. But you don't have to wait until February to read film wars and mini bars. <laughs> But Filmtastic February is definitely a good excuse to pick up this novel. When I think of uh, film noirs, I think of the old 1940s, 1950s um, films, the black and white ones with actors like Humphrey Bogart, Lauren Bacall, of course Veronica Lake and Alan Ladd, uh, who also uh, often team up uh, to have an, uh, a noir adventure. But my favorite uh, film noir, that is I think from 1953, Correct me if I'm wrong, but from the 1950s, and that is Hitchhiker, the Hitchhiker. And this is really an excellent, excellent film noir that is uh, co-written and directed by Ida Lupino. And uh, she is a wonderful director. She is really, really an excellent uh, director. And she is one of the few female uh, directors from the 1950s. And uh, she is equally as good as the male directors of her time. So I can recommend it. But this is a book review and not a film review. So I've read uh, film noirs and mini bars. This is a story about a private, a British private detective, uh, Detective Sterling, and he has to go out and uh, help a client, uh, accompany a client with a mysterious suitcase on a plane from uh, Great Britain uh, to America. Of course, there is all kinds of fishy stuff going on and things do not go as planned. This is a really well written and solid noir novel. There are a lot of references to a film, the old film noirs from the 1940s and 1950s. It's fun if you have seen them, but not absolutely necessary because, well, uh, they are mentioned, uh, but if you haven't seen them, that's not uh, really a problem. Uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't keep you from enjoying this wonderful <laughs> entertaining noir story. Of course there are the typical film noir characters in it. There is the private detective uh, who is always short of cash there is, of course, uh, some typical film noir thugs in it. There is, of course, a femme fatale. And there is, of course, uh, no f noir is complete without a little violence. So there is, there is that. The dialogues are really, really excellent. Uh, they have uh, the typical uh, film noir dry sense of humor in it. So that is really uh, fun to read. 
I enjoy that tremendously. The build-up of the story is excellent. The pacing of the story is uh, very well and the plot is highly entertaining. Also, the atmosphere of the 1940s and 1950s is uh, very well set. People are smoking like chimneys, <laughs> like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> so that is, well, no 1940s, 1950s film is complete <laughs> without somebody smoking. So that is really uh, well done as well. But the story is uh, set in the present day. But uh, some uh, things, technical stuff, is weaved in the story that refers to uh, the present day. But that's not uh, taking anything away from the 1940s and 1950s atmosphere. It's just something uh, that I think, oh yeah, it's set in the present day, but it's not bothering me. It's very well uh, written, uh, in my opinion, anyway. So if you are uh, looking for a light-hearted uh, noir novel, I can highly recommend Film Noirs and Mini Bars. It is the first uh, P.I. Sterling novel. There are three in total. I haven't read the other ones yet, but I might pick up another one uh, sometime soon. <laughs> so I can highly recommend it. Well, this was a very short uh, video, but the novel is also very short with its 147 pages, so you can uh, breeze through it. It is highly entertaining. If you want to help me uh, spread the word uh, of unknown, uh, the lesser known novels, because there is really, uh, there are really a lot of gems undiscovered, of hardly discovered gems out there that have been written and that are waiting to be read. Uh, if you want to help me make them uh, better known amongst the reading public, Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thanks for watching.